I'm A.C. Ducker, it's Friday, December 4th, and welcome to your latest edition of Hawks Eye View. The talk about elections continues as we introduce our junior class candidates. Here is your HEV election reporter, Cadence with more. Thanks, Macy. Now we've already highlighted the senior class and student body candidates. Now let's take a look at our junior class candidates. For your junior class president, we have Brooklyn Murphy. Three things she would like Hanahan to know about her is she is on the Hanahan varsity cheer team, this is her second year being a part of student council, and she wants to attend Boston University in the future. For your junior class vice president candidates, we have candidate number 10, Dylan Ruggiero. Three things he would like Hanahan to know about him, he loves anything to do with music, he gets along with everyone, and he is a two-time consecutive of Mr. Hanahan. Candidate number 11, Adam Womble. Three things you would like Hanahan to know about him, deep dish pizzas are not pizza. He loves you guys and cares about you. Quote, I am not superstitious, I am a little stitious, quote, Michael Scott. For your junior class secretary candidates, we have candidate number 12. Skylar Frazier. Three things she would like Hanahan to know about her is she is responsible, organized, and dependable. She is a member of NHS and she enjoys helping others. Candidate number 13, Olivia Keita. Three things she would like Hanahan to know about her is she is in student council and has been since middle school. She loves to read and write and she would like to become more involved with the school and come up with creative ways to better the school and the community around it. Candidate number 14, Sarah Stoddard. Three things she would like Hanahan to know about her is she can sing every single Taylor Swift song you can think of from memory. She is a hide-and-go-seek champion, and if you vote for her, she'll bake you cookies. For your junior class treasurer, we have our very own HEV main anchor, Macy Decker. Three things she wants Hanahan to know about her is she likes taking pictures on the gas station floor for the gram, she thinks Die Hard is not a Christmas movie, and she is proud to say she has never seen a single episode of Hawk's Eye View. So those are your junior class council candidates. Good luck to everyone, and I'll see you guys next week with more. Now back to you in the studio, Macy. Next week, we'll be highlighting our sophomore candidates as we march toward our December 21st Election Day special. With Christmas right around the corner, the holiday season is just getting started. Our Hanahan festivities are beginning too. Up first is the annual Hanahan Christmas Parade. The parade will take place this Saturday at 10 a.m. It will start and end at Hanahan High School. Come out and show your Christmas spirit. From one Christmas festivity to the next, the Hanahan Christmas tree lighting is Friday night. The Christmas tree lighting will take place at the Hanahan Amphitheater. The events include the Christmas tree lighting, ribbon cutting for the new Hanahan boardwalk, Santa will be there to gather your letters, and a free movie, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Here in the halls of Hanahan, we are in the Christmas spirit too. And one teacher is taking that to a whole new level. Here is David with more. Thanks, Macy. As you may know, Ms. Ray is one of our new teachers at Hanahan this year, but that's not stopping her from starting one of the more creative holiday traditions, Hanahan's own Elf on the Shelf. So Santa sent us notification that um, he was going to be sending Julia Elf to come down to Hanahan because he's heard some amazing things happening in our school and he wants to hear about them um, from her. And so she is going to be watching our students. Um, as you remember, can't touch her because if you touch her, she loses her magic. So keep on the lookout this holiday season because you never know where Julia might pop up. Now back to Macy in the studio. Our high school is getting in the holiday spirit another way too. Friday, December 18th, just two weeks from today, is Ugly Holiday Sweater Day. Show your spirit by wearing your favorite ugly holiday sweater. You can buy one or you can make one, but make sure you wear one on Friday, December 18th. I'm ready to see what Hank's ugly sweater will look like. Speaking of Hank, here is your very own AGV Sports anchor, Matthew Henry Woodall. Thanks, Macy. As the fall sports season ends, the winter season begins. I have some information for you on how to attend these games. All fans who enter the gym must wear facial covers. All fans are asked to abide by social distancing policies and only sit in marked bleachers. Concession stands will be open and will be accepting cash. Capacity in HHS gym will be 200 people. Parents of the athletes will be given an opportunity to purchase tickets one day prior to general admission tickets. Should you leave the stadium for any reason, you may not re-enter under the same ticket. Parking is extremely limited on site. However, side of the road parking is available along Murray Drive and side streets. Please be courteous when parking on side streets and do not block driveways. That was a lot of great information to watch your Hawks play. Speaking of them playing, let's see what they are up to this week. As for those Lady Hawks, they took on the Iron Horses in the Hawk Nest on Tuesday for their first game. 
Sadly, it didn't turn out the way they wanted, but senior Cameron Brown thinks there's a reason for optimism this year. I think hopefully we'll perform super well. We have a big group of girls that are just ready to work hard and we're working super hard and um, a staff of great coaches, so pretty good, hopefully. Here's a look at this year's roster. Good luck this year, ladies. The boys were supposed to play Phillip Simmons too, but their game got canceled. Now let's look at some upcoming events. Tonight, the girls are in action at home against James Island at 6. Also, tonight, the boys will be at home against James Island at 7.30. Next Thursday, the Hawks wrestling team travels to Phillip Simmons for a meet. And remember, stay plugged in 24-7 for all your Hawks sports news at hawkathletics.net. That's a wrap for sports this week, Macy. And I disagree with you. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Ho, ho, ho. Now I have a sports cast. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Hank. Yosef is out this week trying to figure out what our student body likes better, the Xbox or the PS4. Let's see what he found out. Here is Yo with Yosef. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. Thanks, Macy. Xbox and PlayStation came with two different systems. I wonder which one you guys like. Let's get to it. All right, Xbox and PlayStation. 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 PlayStation, for sure. PlayStation. Why? Because Xbox is not it. I've grown up playing PlayStation. She's it's better. better. Xbox. Can you even let me finish the question? No, sir. Xbox, for sure. Oh, really? Which, which, which version of the Xbox and which version of PlayStation? The newest. Uh, cause Xbox is just, it's alpha. I disagree. PlayStation's beta. I'm out to stick with Xbox. PlayStation is way better. Nah. It's better, isn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, it is. Nah. You agree with me, though? No. The sexiest. I'm the smartest. I'm both. Nah. I'm the smartest guy in the school. Negative. I'm just sexy and smart. Really? The smartest or just smart? <laughs> The smartest. No, I'm the smartest. Impossible. Ethan Wood is the smartest. PlayStation. No, he's not. He's the dumbest. No, he's the smartest. Xbox. If you play Xbox, you're weird. Don't listen to her. It's the dumbest. The smartest. I'm the smartest. PlayStation. PlayStation. Xbox. Why? Because I play PlayStation all my life. The superior people play PlayStation. Why? Because I have one. I agree with you. Thank you. I like PlayStation better, though. That's OK. PlayStation. Xbox is not good. You're entitled to your own wrong opinion. Why? I don't know. I don't play on either of them. What does that mean? That means you can be wrong. The last gaming console I had was a PlayStation. I'm always right. I'm the smartest guy in the school. <laughs> I don't have an Xbox or a PlayStation. But I don't, I don't play video games anymore, so I can't tell you. PlayStation. Well, duh, Xbox. PlayStation. Why? Because Xbox is whack. No, PlayStation. Xbox is way much better than PlayStation. I don't know what you're talking about, man. You should, you should get a PlayStation. I already have one. Because I used to be a gamer and I played the PlayStation. Tell them Xbox people, they whack. Okay, they are whack. PlayStation is better. Thank you for your time. Oh, wow. Okay. They're both good systems, but I like PlayStation better. Now back to Macy in the studio. Thanks, yo. One last thing. Make sure you stay up to date with all things Hanahan High School. We're on Twitter at Hanahan I. On Insta, you can catch us at HawksEyeView HHS. And make sure you sign up for our Google Classroom for all of our updates. The class code is 57ORRYM. That's 57ORRYM. We are proud to be a worldwide leader in all things Hanahan News. I'm Macy Ducker, and from all of us here at Hawkside View, we will see you next week. Have a great holiday weekend.